The Texans intend to be extremely flexible as they evaluate their options with the first overall pick. That extends to the possibility of completing a trade while on the clock tomorrow night. According to league sources, trade discussions continue between Texans GM Rick Smith and multiple teams, including the Atlanta Falcons, who have the sixth pick and are believed to covet South Carolina defensive end Jadavian Clowney. The concern for the Texans is they believe there are only four or five blue chip players, and dropping down to sixth might eliminate them from acquiring one of those. The Texans believe both Clowney and Buffalo linebacker Khalil Mack are viable players in Romeo Cornell's defensive scheme. If they move back, they could address their obvious need at quarterback and choose Blake Bortles or Johnny Manziel if they're still available. Now to St. Louis and Josina Anderson. Rams general manager Lesney told me, quote, we will take a quarterback at some point in this draft unless the quarterback that we want is not available at the time that we want. But what is actually the possibility that the Rams could take Johnny Manziel with the number two pick? Well, Snead emphasized that he feels that Manziel is actually the one quarterback in this draft that teams are willing to trade up for, and that if you're in that position, which they are, it behooves them to know everything that they can about him, so that if you're willing to trade that piece of real estate, you know his value and what teams are coming up for. Now for more on the Jaguars, let's send it over to Brick McHenry. Thanks, Josina. Well, character is at an all-time premium, according to general manager Dave Caldwell. I spoke with him this morning, and he reiterated they're not expecting wide receiver Justin Blackman at all this 2014 season, creating an obvious need at that position. Now, to say they've done their due diligence with character would be an understatement. Another source tells me they've eliminated 36 players from their draft list due to injury or off-the-field issues three times as many as last year. Khalil Mack is a viable option, and Sammy Watkins makes a lot of sense here. Caldwell even joked with me today, we could use a few more guys in the end zone throwing the football back to the refs. Now let's head to Cleveland with Sal Palantonio. Here with the Cleveland Browns, there's been quite a bit of speculation that owner Jimmy Haslam is pulling the levers of power behind the scenes, and he's the one dictating what the Browns will do with that number four overall pick, and that he's fallen in love with quarterback Johnny Manziel of Texas A&M. But I had a 30-minute one-on-one meeting with GM Ray Farmer this morning, and he told me that yesterday in their draft meeting, the owner, Jimmy Haslam, walked in and looked at all the scouts and all the coaches and then addressed Ray Farmer and said to him, quote, at the end of the day, it's your call, trying to end all the speculation that the owner is going to make the pick.